Welcome to today's Windows 8 Tips and Tricks. My name is Ryan Joy and I'm a developer evangelist at Microsoft. Follow me on Twitter at ATXRyan or find me at RyanJoy.com. Today I want to talk about keyboard shortcuts. Um, at events, people are still confused when I describe Windows 8 as a touch-first operating system. Now this doesn't mean that keyboard and mouse inputs don't work. It means that touch is a first-class citizen right up there alongside the keyboard and mouse. Just like before, there are certain areas where you might be more efficient using your keyboard. So I present to you keyboard shortcuts for the power user. Actually, no, let's say keyboard shortcuts for any user. Now, first and foremost, the Windows key is going to be your friend in this system. I can use it to toggle between the start screen and my desktop uh, very easily. All right, it will also toggle between whatever the was my most forefront application and back to the screen. So the, the Windows key is going to take you back to the start screen uh, at any point. Now if the Windows key takes you back to the start screen at any point, if you want to jump into the desktop mode at any point, you can easily do that by doing Windows D and that will take you straight to your desktop mode. If you press it again and uh, while you're actually in desktop mode, it will show you, it will clear the screen and show you your actual desktop. So the Windows key combination of Windows Z will also bring up the, um, the app bar command. So this is the equivalent of swiping up from the bottom or of right clicking. But if I press Windows Z, that will do the same thing. And lastly, the Windows key combination that I think uh, is very useful or at least to be understood is Windows Tab which will tab only between the Windows RT or the Windows Store style application versus Alt-Tab, which will tab between anything in the desktop mode as well as anything um, uh, open within the Windows WinRT environment. So next I'm going to talk about Windows Q and this will this is search. This is my most used uh, key command because not only is it search but I also use it as my application launcher. I can quickly hit Alt Q from anywhere within the system and that's going to bring up this app search. And Now this is going to search both WinRT apps and the start experience as well as any of my desktop apps. So if I want to bring up Word, I just quickly type in WRD. Same thing with Outlook or any of these applications. If I need to bring up Weather, that's going to bring up those items as well. Uh, along, there are some other search items. You can see here that I have options for file and settings. If I hit Windows W, that'll set the context to settings, and I can search in users or you know whatever settings I'm looking for. If I hit Windows F, obviously that's going to bring up files, and that's going to just search uh, the file system for for any of these text messages in there. If I want to bring up the Charms bar at any point, I could do Windows C. Uh, this will bring it up from anywhere in the OS, including on the on the desktop side. You notice it brings up the the clock as well as the charms bar with the search icon, the share, access to the start screen, devices, and settings. A couple of subcommands here. If I quickly hit Windows I, that'll bring up the settings, and that also works from within any application. So if I just go back over to my Fresh Paint application and I hit Windows I, you'll notice now I'm going to get uh, the contextual settings for this application. And if I hit Windows P from any application, this brings up that display option there. So if you're uh, using external monitors or if you're projecting, um, you can e quickly and easily set up your, your uh, projection uh, settings. And uh, last but not least, this actually has nothing to do with the Windows Start experience, but uh, if you're like me and you pin some applications into your desktop mode, so you notice down here I have pinned uh, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, uh, Sublime Text, uh, PowerShell, and my Windows Explorer. WinKey 1 is going to bring up Internet Explorer, and if it's not already open, it will launch it. So WinKey 1. WinKey 2 will bring up or launch uh, Chrome. And for me, WinKey 3 is going to be Sublime Text and WinKey 4 is going to be PowerShell. Uh, so that will essentially bring up any application that you have down uh, in your start bar pinned. Just like before, if you hit Windows R, that is going to bring up your run command. 
Um, and that also works from within the start experience itself. So Windows R, run command. And uh, you can run whatever commands you used to be able to run. Well, that's it for today. So thank you for tuning in. And I will see you on Twitter at ATXRyan. Cheers.